Hi everyone and welcome to Friday, April 28th, General Hospital Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recap. I'm going with a retro filter right now. I'm just going to preface this by saying that the 28th episode is a really special episode and no amount of me standing here and describing it to you could possibly uh, get it across. So if you do have access to ABC On Demand or uh, you know the app or anything, I highly, 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 highly recommend seeing this episode for yourself because it is really amazing, especially, um, well, no, I shouldn't say especially, uh, but, you know, just from the perspective of someone who literally maybe watched one of those flashbacks, because uh, there's a lot of flashbacks, watched one of them at the time, you know, a lot of it, the majority of it was stuff I'd never seen before. I have to sneeze one. So I just urge you to to really to try and watch it maybe someone uploaded it but i do not you know i'm not saying i'm just you know maybe someone did <laughs> I, I honestly don't know so uh let's get right to it at the corner means tracy is packing some pictures she's going to go on a trip to clear her mind and she's taking the painting with her at general hospital ned turns samira in they're all mad at her obviously I'm, I'm mad at him obviously and ned says that she's not in the country illegally he has a visa extension for six more months and ned has a connection in the new administration even even though he leans left and Dylan gets ice on the elevator really gets him out of there uh, Samir asks Ned what happened he wants them to all go home uh, he wants to resolve the situation once and for all and they need Tracy for that back at the quarter means everyone gets home Samir sees the painting is missing but no one's listening to her and then they can't find Tracy as uh, she disappeared and took the painting with her at the Quartermain Mausoleum, uh, we're at the Quartermain Mausoleum, <laughs> and Tracy brought roses for Lila, and she still isn't a fan of AJ, but AJ gets the last laugh, to be quite honest with you, and she still plans on leaving, she talks to Edward a little, um, even talking to AJ, <laughs> and AJ's plaque falls on her while she's saying she was a good person, even if she didn't, um, hit every standard that Edward had, and then someone's talking to her, it's Scott. They're at the courthouse. Nathan comes out of the courtroom, and he's in this, like, weird uniform. And the sign outside the courtroom says, Life versus Tracy Quartermain. I'm so excited right now. Uh, so Diane is there in this white outfit that the way they have the lights um, on her, like, she's literally glowing. Diane is literally glowing. This is not a drill. And Tracy is super confused. And Diane shows her a video of the plaque falling on her and says that she's dead. She died on... I believe 12.57 p p.m. on April 28th, 2017. So this is the review before she can go to a higher plane or back to Earth for another go at it. And Scott says that he does a good job, you know, representing the people who are on review. Uh, he got Lorenzo Alcazar, Alcazar reincarnated as Leo Falconeri when he was supposed to be a poodle. And I was like, okay, this is hilarious. And I was just saying about, like, the alternate universes the other day, like, doing kind of an alternate universe type thing but this is like a like different but like on the same plane anyway what I'm trying to say is I love it okay that's what I'm trying to say so Diane says Sky Chandler is thinking of adopting a baby and maybe and the last thing Tracy wants to do is be reincarnated and raised by Sky Chandler <laughs> A uh, court is in session, and Sonny is the judge. And, like, this is such a trip, because, like, do you think Maurice Bernard ever thought he would be wearing a judge's robe, playing a judge as Sonny? Like, come on. Come on. There is no alternate universe where that happens. Except for this one, and I'm so excited. <laughs> so Tracy wants a mistrial. She wasn't ready to die. And then she says that this judge hates her. And then flashback, and it's amazing. And it's her and Sonny um, fighting about... Lois or and you know then he's like kind of threatening her and like I don't know and like she's giving it right back to him and I'm just like oh my goodness <laughs> one second there it is and again, I have to say, Diane Glowing is amazing. So the other judge would have been Anthony Zakara. And Tracy is like, you know what? This is fine. This is good. So Diane makes a case that Tracy is selfish and incapable of goodness. And Scott says that she's not Cassidine bad and she's not Heather Weber bad. She was born into a backstabbing family. But, you know, she's really good if you compare it to Edward and stuff like that. And so the flashback with her and Alan and an argument about Monica and Ned, which I think you know what that argument was about and then a fight with Monica and Tracy oh so in the episode before I didn't mention this in yesterday's recap but Monica and Ned both like at least two times mentioned that they are 
um, that he's nephew by marriage. And I think that was kind of leading up to today's episode because they do mention that incident that will not be talked about because this is a good house. I'm just kidding. It just makes me uncomfortable. So then um, a fight between Tracy and Monica and Tracy, um, you know, Monica's saying she's never going to let her in the house again. Really did the good with that one, Monica. And then they play more stuff with Lila and how she was so mean to Jenny. Uh, Tracy, not Lila. Oh, my goodness. And Lila didn't like that. And they're playing on these on, like, multiple devices. Like, one after the other after the other. And it's, like, so cool. So now they're going to move on to what she did instead of just words. So her voice has changed so much throughout the years. Like, Tracy, I can't even do it. But she used to have such a high, higher voice. I, it was throwing me off, to be quite honest with you. And uh, Tracy or just Scott to do something because they get to what she actually did, then she's not going to go anywhere good. Uh, so he brings up her romantic relationships. Larry Ashton, Paul Hornsby, Gino Salito. Uh, Diane says her relationships haven't shown personal growth. And Scott says no. Luke Spencer. What about that? As much as it pains him because he hates Luke. So, Diane says that it was a fraudulent marriage, and Tracy says even though it started that way, it turned into something else. And then a flashback to Luke and, Tra Luke and Tracy, the only one I actually saw when it aired. Go me! Whoo! It's like 10 years since I started watching General Hospital. Not when I started watching it religiously, but when I, like, started watching it. Uh, more of that at 11. So, oh, it's 11.26 already. Ooh. Uh, so... When he said, oh, so basically Luke's saying he doesn't need her for her bank account. That's not why he comes back to her. He loves her, and I love them too. Uh, so Diane brings up how she wouldn't trust him, though, and really digging into, and then there's a flashback of Tracy really digging into him and how she'll always walk away from him. Again, that one I did see, too, and it broke my heart. So Tracy, like, wants to fire Scott. Um, she doesn't want her romantic entanglements to save her, to be what saves her. So she says she's done more, you know, she saved Luke. She had two kids, which she counts for something. And then there's a flashback to a pregnant Tracy, which I never saw, <laughs> um, walking um, into someone's house. I, I don't Ow! Ooh, Misha, your toy. Um, honestly, I don't know who that is. Um, I thought it might have been Sky, but now I'm thinking it wasn't. So if you know who that was, please let me know and she's soaking wet and tired and went into labor so you know she said she used her strength to help the corner mains and diane says you know until she used it against the corner mains so then there's an argument between her and alan and like oh my god so dramatic right i was like oh is it that dramatic now but the, we're just watching it so we're not noticing it because it's like super dramatic so he was having a party and didn't want her to ruin it and then her and Monica again and then her and Jenny and Jenny could have sent her to prison and then she said you know no I have kids and Jenny said her and Paul would raise her son I, I don't know it was all very weird so um because I don't know any of it or the context or the storylines uh so then I think oh so then Edward telling her to pack her bags but it's a different Edward so I was like I think that's Edward. But it was like 7 o'clock this morning and I was talking to no one. So Ned, then um, a flashback of Ned really digging into her for ruining his life and that she erased the bad things she did in her past and, um, you know, that she did to him and, you know, him saying that she only cares about herself and Tracy apologizing to Lila for being a disappointment and Lila was more than kind to her and then Edward signing the will in her presence, you know, she let money become all she cares about, betraying the family, and he despises her, he's not her father, and then he almost immediately needs his medication because he's having heart trouble and a severe health crisis, and he didn't sign the will in time, or there was something, and, you know, then Tracy's taunting him about living long enough to sign the will, and she's just letting him suffer while she quoted him to her, um, heard it whatever, um, him to him, I can't keep pronouns straight, and you'll know, always count on money, never count on people, and she wanted to, him to tear the will up, and then he, like, totally collapsed, and Tracy, you know, she says she was selfish and greedy, um, but why did her family take her back, you know, she knows she's done good, uh, she knows she can do more if she's sent back, you know, send her back as her, so she can do more, and now end scene. So Ned made a call to find Tracy. Uh, she was going to head to Costa Rica with the painting, and he canceled her private plane. Uh, Ned thinks Tracy will surprise them. Uh, 
Tracy knows Edward is pulling the strings somewhere in all this. Uh, she knows he never forgave her for what she did, and she never forgave herself. And she tried to atone for it. She was trying to fix things between them. She just wanted him to be proud of her. And she wonders what her life would have been like if she would have just been her. And would she have made herself proud if she had one last chance? And she wakes up in the mausoleum, no plaque on the ground. This is her chance. And the Quartermains try to figure out how to find Tracy. Dylan doesn't think she'll be back. Back. Uh, Tracy comes in with the painting. She was ready to take off, but she reevaluated. And she has been blessed, and it's time for her to use those gifts to help other people. Uh, she will give it to Samira. And Ned. Ooh, one second. And Ned makes sure she's sure about this, and Dylan doesn't want to look a gift horse in the mouth, and Tracy is officially giving up the painting. So that is it for that General Hospital recap. I'm going to film today's tomorrow because I am, like, about to collapse. I think I've been locking my knees, uh, but I will see you then for more General Hospital. These aren't going up till tomorrow morning anyway, and I hope you have a great night. Okay, bye!